project that we've undertaken is to grow fodder beet as cheaply as possible. Now, and with conjunction with my brother Paul, we have decided to go through strip tillage cultivation to plant fodder beet compared to the control of conventionally working ground, ploughing it, powerhouring it, and it ends up about five or six passes before you plant it. Now Paul's come up with this idea of running on GPS planting. We spray strips out six weeks prior to planting and band fertiliser and plant on the plant line with a one pass machine. Now this machine has uh, a pre-ripper and then it goes through a rotary hoe tunnel and then it gets planted with a precision planter. Now we feel this has reduced the number of passes but also with the aim of this is there's a row in between the, the plant lines that hasn't been conventionally worked which enables um, less moisture being evaporated because there's less cultivation, less weed germination. Um, we hopefully it will also create a microclimate for the plant to establish given compared to control of um, conventional cultivation where it's all conventionally planted and worked you can end up having wind damage and all sorts of problems like that so we feel hopefully the strip tillage is the way forward. Year two of the trial with beef and lamb has shown some pretty exciting results which ensure we can grow fodder beet as cheaply and reliably as possible for farmers.